I'm Chris Schaub. And I'm Jennifer Bjorklin. Welcome to Channel 4 News Extra. Our very first topic tonight, pets. When they're sick, they can't tell us their symptoms, so we depend on veterinarians to find out what's wrong. But are some vets going too far, taking advantage of pet owners? Channel 4 investigator Anna Garcia and her team went undercover to find out. A little discharge, you can see. Common ailments that dogs suffer. No, so she had an ear problem. He threw up a couple times. Problems that usually have simple and inexpensive solutions, but insiders tell us sometimes veterinarians are trying to make a buck. It's a lot of it here is that salespeople be coming for vaccines and they want to push 15 things on you. This insider manages a pet hospital and doesn't want to reveal his identity. He says he wants to expose the tactics some clinics use to get your money. I guess you can term them scare tactics. The problem is that pet parents don't know enough to protect themselves. Oh, you're so good. Dr. Jeff Werber runs his own pet hospital in Culver City and is the official veterinarian of the legendary Lassie franchise. The unscrupulous veterinarian will create fear in the pet parent to maybe do more than really needs to be done right now. We wanted to know what would happen if we took healthy dogs with common minor problems in for a checkup. So we went undercover and visited 15 veterinarian clinics all over Southern California. But first, we had Dr. Werber examine them. So he looks like a healthy year old Very healthy French year old bulldog? Year. Yes, he does. And sweet as can be. Guapo's only problem is that he throws up every once in a while. Werber says that could come from eating grass or heartburn. They use some Pepsid or one of any of the over-the-counter uh, antacids. Before we take Guapo undercover, our insider tells us so what to look out for. They're going to throw a gamut of tests at you, and you know, they've got to set protocol. If a pet comes in for vomiting, off from this, 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 and this. Producer Fred Mamoon takes Guapo to the Coenga Pet Hospital in Hollywood. He threw up a couple times. Dr. Marina Kotlarenko orders a battery of tests, charges $395, and recommends we change dog food for the vomiting. Then she claims to discover a new and unrelated problem. Are you afraid that I get them confused? Okay. It's like I need to smoothen it. Okay. An eye infection that's going to require another expensive procedure. It's about to Another $300 for an eye problem our expert and nine other vets didn't see. We want to talk to you about a diagnosis you made on Guapo about his eyelid. At first, they wouldn't let us in. She'll talk to us without the camera. Okay. So we took Guapo and his records inside. Dr. Kotlarenko told me she didn't do anything wrong and explained eyelid scraping is not done in the States, but she used to do it in Austria. On this visit, she admitted Guapo's eyes look perfect. You're a beauty. According to our You're expert beauty. and an independent vet, Michi, a three-year-old Shih Tzu, has itchy, waxy ears caused by too much yeast. It's a minor condition, which if untreated could lead to an ear infection. He's got a little yeast in his yeah. ear. And it looks like yeast. Rock, a year-old right. yellow lab, has the same problem. So usually black, waxy debris like this is usually yeast. Just and to that. treat this condition? Right. Clean the ears out, make a smear, make sure I'm choosing the right medication. We take Michi to Rainbow Pet Hospital in Burbank two times, once with dirty ears and then a follow-up visit with ears that have been cleaned by another vet to see if that affects the diagnosis. So something you got to take care of. Both times, Dr. David Wiley tells us... He's just got a really nasty ear infection both sides. Yeah, you got to put her out for a while, huh? Oh, you bet. You think she's going to hold still for that? Remember, during this second visit, Michi's ears have already been cleaned without anesthesia for $165 at a pet clinic in Simi Valley. That vet did not find an infection. Is it a big procedure? Yeah. Listen to what he claims he's going to have to do to Michi's ears and why she has to be under anesthesia. Honey, I'm not going to put scopes and um, my instruments and my flush guns and my suction guns and pipettes and everything. She's got to be totally still. She does that, she goes right through her door. We're given a written estimate of the surgery and anesthesia. It will cost between $586 and $691. What's your name? A few hours after we're given that diagnosis, we take Michi to Dr. Werber. I have a very, very clean canal. He says there's no infection. Back at Rainbow Vet Hospital, I get the runaround. We're from Channel 4. May we see the doctor, please? I'm told Dr. Wiley's at lunch. Come back at 4. You need an appointment. Can we make an appointment for today? I don't think so. That night, they leave me a message we're going to cancel that appointment. Canceling my appointment for the next morning. Beautiful tea. 
As for Guapo, the French bulldog and his symptoms. He occasionally vomits late at night or early in the morning. If we go to another veterinarian, should they x-ray him? Should they do any blood tests? Should... Zero. That's overkill. But that's just what happened at six out of the 15 animal hospitals we visited. They ran blood and stool tests and charged us between 140 and $400. Not all vets opted for expensive tests. The Banfield Animal Hospital in Covina said Guapo's throwing up was no big deal and charged us $39 for the visit. In Orange County, the VCA Hospital in Fountain Valley said the same thing and charged us $75 for the checkup. Rock the lab with the yeasty ears had them diagnosed and flushed at the Los Feliz Small Animal Hospital for $141. But vets can charge whatever they want, according to the California Veterinarian Medical Board in Sacramento. The board doesn't have uh, direct jurisdiction over what veterinarians charge. They will take refuge by saying, you know, we're just trying to be as thorough as we possibly can be. Santa Ana attorney Robert Newman is an authority on animal law. There is a difference, however, between being thorough and gouging. You see a client who comes in who's willing to do anything to save an animal that they consider like a child and there are veterinarians who will take advantage of that. Which is why Dr. Werber says you should get a second opinion if the vet is recommending an expensive procedure. Rarely does an alternative approach not exist. Anna Garcia, Channel 4 News. The California Veterinarian Medical Board says vets have a lot of discretion when it comes to testing and treatment options, and they caution taking the cheapest option is not always best. Rainbow Animal Hospital had no comment for this story. Next on Channel 4 News Extra, we will talk with Channel 4 investigative reporter Anna Garcia and hear her backstory on the veterinarian investigation.